Alright, brothers, Zakumah Khairan, thanks for attending inshallah. Uh, today's going to be much more, uh, so for the guys that have been here before, uh, today's going to be much more relaxed, okay? Much less formal. Uh, obviously, you can see that I've given you just a blank piece of paper, because that's what we're going to be starting inshallah. Just a blank piece of paper. Um, the main objective is to see how we behave to create awareness. Once we have that awareness, we can use that information to create change. And inshallah, lasting change. So, that's the angle. Um, I remember, inshallah, I remember a brother that I met a few years ago in Attic Air France. Just like, you know, he seemed like a normal, average guy. And, yeah, we know how it is. Eventually, after one or two days, every people start to get relaxed, they start to get to know each other, and they start talking to each other, you know, where you're from, what are you doing, what are you up to, etc. And I always noticed this brother, even though it was, I mean, it's back it's in Australia and it was really hot, he always wore long sleeves. They always wore long sleeves. Everyone else has got their short sleeve eyebrows, which you know, have, everyone has their preferences about those. But he always wore even long sleeve underneath, even if he had a short something short underneath. Whatever. And then over time, I started to notice he actually had tattoos underneath. And he was covering them up. It's just you know, that's how it is. It's, just, it's a cover. It's almost like what we all have to an extent. Some people have physical tattoos. Some people have physical scars. And some people have emotional tattoos or emotional scars. He just happened to be covering them up. A few days ago, I was having checking my email or whatever, and uh, a brother sent me like a link to a conference. And uh, I'm having a look at the speakers. One of the speakers happens to be a friend of mine. I knew him from a long time ago. He went overseas. He studied. He's you know, he's a sheikh. So I was having a look. Oh yeah, you know, that's my friend. And then I have a look down. There's this brother, sheikh so and so. He's speaking at the conference. SubhanAllah, all these years ago he was just like normal guy, average guy, we we're just talking, chatting. It seemed like at that time he was just coming in and transformative, like it's big, big change. The guy's whole life completely transformed. Okay, and it all started from Ramadan. Because Ramadan teaches us a lot of lessons. Ramadan proves to us a lot of things about ourselves. Ramadan teaches us a lot about ourselves. Okay, and the first thing we, we start to realize is that we all have these, these you know, long sleeves, so to speak. Like, we all have these masks. These masks that cover up what's really hidden underneath. What we want to do, inshallah, is to remove that mask so that we can able to see ourselves in the mirror and see ourselves for who we really are. Because when we have that awareness, when we have that awareness of ourselves, Okay, when we understand who we are, then we can start to create real change. Okay, not superficial change. I'm not talking about the stuff that you, you know, you, sometimes in Ramadan you can sit there, you're making dua, your heart's not really in it, you haven't really felt anything. And you finish, and you kind of like, it's, it's over. You know, it was, there were long days, so I got thirsty a bit. Was it, did anything change? That's the key, that's the key question. Did anything change for us? Did anything change for us? The Sahaba would make dua for six months after Ramadan for what? What would they make dua for? For six months to, after Ramadan? To get next Ramadan. The six months beforehand they would say. Except, except, they would say, except, except their deeds, right? Yes. Okay, so you think about that. What must they have they done okay, to ask for that to be accepted for six whole months? And it means they've done a, a great, a great, great deal of, of work. They must have done a great deal of work because they were thinking about it for six months. You know? If you do something small, how, how long do you think about it? Less than one day. You do it, it's finished. It goes out of your mind. But when you do something big, when you do something brilliant, okay, when you do something fantastic, think about it for a long time. So for, six, for, for half of the year, they think, please, Allah, accept it, our deeds, which means they did a lot. And then they're thinking for the next six months, Allow us to do it again. Allow us to do it again. This will introduce the first sort of concept of what we call the phases, which we'll discuss later. So we'll just say half. When we remove that mask, 
okay? And when we're able to see ourselves, we're able to really explore and see you know, who we are, when we have that awareness, okay, then we can start to identify what's called our BS. Anybody want to guess what BS stands for? Basic self? Belief system. Our belief systems, okay? What we internally believe. And I'm not talking about Iman and Ihsan and Islam. I'm not talking about that sort of belief. Think, what do you believe about the world? What do you believe about yourself? Okay? What do you believe about yourself? What do you believe <coughs> about the world? As an example, okay? you, what do you believe about yourself? You could think to yourself, I am a religious person. Okay? Or you could say, I am someone who's astray. If, if that's a belief system. It's a belief about yourself, who you are. Okay, you could think the world is, you know, a very bad place. You know, some people say that the world is terrible. Other people say the world is full of opportunities. Okay? Some people might say money is evil. That's a belief. Other people will say money is a way for me to move forward. That's another belief. Okay? So identifying and becoming aware of our belief system right, is the start or starting steps for us to move forward and to be able to change. So then we ask ourselves, what is the goal of Ramadan? What's the goal of Ramadan? We can tell. To reduce the evil. Okay. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say? La'allakum. We should try to do as much as we, as much as we, as much as we can. Okay. To um. That's good. Okay, what else? Yeah. used to be uh, in Ramadan especially. Yeah. More to be generous. Yeah. Yep. Then you should be more the Kariha uh, Musa. He gave everything. Yeah. And he tried to give Ramadan. He should give him more than. Yeah. Okay. Now, what's my So, what is Taqwa? Right, and I don't mean like the Islamic definition, you know, okay. these are the four points that make up taqwa. And what is taqwa? Is it an object? Is it like a chair? Is it, what is, what is taqwa? Taqwa. Here. Taqwa is in the heart, right? Taqwa is in the heart and the mind. So it's a mindset. Okay. Taqwa is a mindset. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us a clue, an idea of what we, what we need to be doing, what we need to be changing. Right? And we need to be changing our mind and we need to be changing our hearts. It's what is if you if you know the loose kind of translation. It's interesting to look at um, the translations of the Quran and the translations of Hadith, because very rarely would you be able to translate word for word. It's very difficult to translate word for word, because you have when you come to translate, you really have to translate meaning. That's why when you see like the translations of the Quran, they say this is a translation of the meaning of the whatever. Like they give you a big disclaimer. It's like you can't translate it word for word. It, may, it doesn't make it won't make sense word for word. So you have to translate the meaning of those words, okay? And when you see taqwa, usually what do they write? They say, God consciousness or fear of Allah. Something along those lines. If you look into the, from the language perspective, taqwa, no. she can taqwa a bit. No. Then you can be taqwa from her side. No. You can be taqwa between you and Allah. No. But as a there is a hadith also. Ramadan divides into the third, first of the third, Mamfara, second of the third, Rahman, and uh, inshallah, if you success in these, then the last third, which maybe if you get the data to the it come in the night. Inshallah, there is also the So, So, we're talking about, again, it's all about our hearts. That's really Some people will say the heart has a, a mind to it, but yes, hearts and minds. Okay, our hearts and minds. So it's about the hearts and minds. It's about the awareness of our hearts and minds. Okay. Really, taqwa becomes almost like an emotional feeling that you have. Okay. It's a, in, and it increases and decreases. Good.
any questions? Anybody learn anything so far? Did you learn anything? I'll come to you later. I also want to ask you something. I think there is a hadith coming in the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There is many people, we call them Utaqa of Shah Ramadan. Yeah, Mashallah, Ramadan finish. Then after that, Shawwal and all the other 11 months, they continue with that base of that habit. That we can say that. Okay, so when it comes to Ramadan, I mean, you're all here for, for your own personal reason. It's very difficult for me to say you know, one universal problem, and you're all trying to save that one universal problem. In general, if we all say, okay, what are you here for? What are you here for? What are you here for? Then we'll all be very similar. But we'll also be very different. Okay. We all have various challenges. So what I want you to do, inshallah, is at the top of your page is to write down what is your challenge when it comes to the Ramadan. What's your challenge? Okay. So you write that at the top of your page. I'm gonna try what we're what we'll do inshallah is we'll do a very practical exercise. Okay? So in order for you to make the most out of this. Okay, in order for you to make the most out of it, then you really want to be deep. Okay? Really think about what it is that you've been challenged about. So remove that mask. Okay, remove that mask. Internally think about it. Look at yourself in the mirror. I think, okay, what is my real challenge here? What is it that I really want to improve when it comes to Ramadan? To be challenging during the most or after the most? Whatever you want. And if you think that you have challenges more during Ramadan, then that's what you write. If you think it's afterwards, Go for that. If you think it's just throughout the whole year, go with that. Whatever your challenge is, because obviously it's going to be individual. Okay? Nobody can not write anything because we all can improve. True? Challenge during Ramadan or the whole year? Whichever you want. Yeah, if you think you have more of a challenge in Ramadan, go with that. If you think you have more of a challenge outside, then you go with that. No, I'm just, just well, want to say something, it's... just a rule. Yeah. Let's stick with the topic because right now what happened, if it's, there's a challenge. We have a time, yes. so don't let the time. So let's stick with well, the just challenge. the challenges we have. No, I know. Just uh, but say put the challenges. Yes. Like the brother asked us for challenges. Oh, yeah, you want to put it there? Yeah, so you put us what yeah, challenge. I'll, I'll, so I'll work through the process. So, so because for yourself, you know, everybody has to do that. Yeah, he was thinking he asked me to, to tell what I, what I feel. If you feel like sharing, that's, that's, uh, that's fine. I'm going we'll to try to go... I don't know what I call it. What's the name we call this the one I tell you? What's the name? Uh, sharing. What's that sharing? No, no. What's the name, specific name for the things I tell you? Sharing? Sorry? Yeah, but I have to be specific. What is it? Is it You're not passing in the most of the creases. You're not passing in the most Because I tell you, my Iman, I feel the crease. Going down when you go out and see this thing say to Allah, maybe my okay, so that's a challenge. Going challenge. To be valid, right? That's a challenge because yeah, your Ramadan is a challenge. Yeah. In Ramadan, your iman is supposed to increase. Yeah. Right? So if your iman is decreasing, that I would say so that's okay, a challenge. You can do it under iman increase and decrease. You can say that. 
Yeah, for for you, that's a, that's for you, okay. But maybe somebody else, it's a different thing. Yeah. Am I right, Keith? So for somebody else, it might be something else. So for you, you put that. Now. So for me, the challenge was in Ramadan. This Ramadan is time uh, management. No. Like, or using time efficiently, especially with the challenge of that having full time uh, full time school with work. No. So that was my challenge. Well, we should be attending our time management course. <laughs> That's good, that's good. Okay, so whatever you have your challenge down, okay, I want you to say you wrote whatever, you wrote it down. <laughs> Nobody's gonna do that, that's the end, just giving you that anything. But no one else is gonna do it. Just cross it out. Okay, whatever you've written, cross it out. <coughs> Is superficial. Okay, whatever you wrote is superficial. So dig deeper. Go underneath that. For example, if your thing is time management, oh, my goal is time management. That's not enough. That's not enough of a challenge for you to overcome now. Okay, that's a very superficial thing. Everyone's got time management issues. Right? Yeah. Give me something more. You don't have to tell me anything. Everyone, this is by the way, you can write whatever you want because this is for you and this is very deep, okay? And you might write some stuff or you might start thinking of some stuff that you would never share with anybody in the world, ever. This might, this might get really, really deep. It might get really, really deep. So you don't, you don't have to tell anybody anything about this, okay? Just keep it, just, uh, but make sure that you take it very seriously, inshallah, and that you dig as deep as possible. Yeah, I, I don't want, I mean, I'm not that I'm going to see it, but I don't want you guys to, to do something that's very superficial. We go through this exercise, and it's like, okay. I want you to dig deep, because the deeper, the deeper you dig, the deeper you dig, okay, the more roots you can, you can hold, the, the bigger the tree that you can build for the future in China. Okay, so whatever you've written now, cross it out, okay, and tell me something deeper. Now. That's it. That's your challenge? That's your challenge. Okay, cross it out. Put something else. Put something else. Put something else. Whatever it is, let's put it on your, on your paper. Okay, whatever it is, but dig deeper. Okay, dig deeper. This is this has got to be something very, very personal. Time management, you know, increase email, etc. That's, that's great. It's very generic. It's almost like you're telling me what I want to hear. I don't want to know what I want to hear. I want to know what you have challenges with. might not become obvious initially. Let's take that mask off, take the mask off. Okay, you don't need to prove, you don't need to be hidden from anybody right now. Take the mask off and see yourself for who you are. Tell me what your real challenge is. Well, don't tell me, write it down. Sorry. Some of you, you may never have done this before. For some of you, you may never have thought of, oh, you know, I want to actually think about this more. You may never, have, you may never have actually gone through the exercise. Satisfaction. That's better. That's better. That's deep on the line. Challenge with your time sometimes, like studying or working, how you can manage these two things because this is not of the bad. Okay, now whatever you've written again, so let's say I'm hungry, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm feeling hungry because I haven't prepared enough. I haven't really prepared enough, you know, and I haven't really taken something, I haven't taken that seriously. And that's that's really, you know, my challenge. Okay. So your second level, cross that out too. Keep going. Why? How? What's going on? Take a, another layer of that mask. 
You're taking one layer off, take the other layer off. Go deeper. Go deeper again. Take another layer off. Take another mask off. Okay? Don't worry about what other people want to hear. Don't worry about what other people think about you. You know? Don't it's almost like you need to be ashamed of what you you read. Almost. Not quite, but you almost need to be thinking, if somebody saw what I've what I've written here, would they be you know, what would they think? You almost have to you always have to kind of, uh, yeah, you have to go deeper, deeper, just keep going deeper. Uh, and if you think again what you've written is superficial, cross it out again and go deeper. You can say, uh, control your temper sometimes because you are passive. You can say that. You can say that sometimes. So now once you have this challenge before you, and you think this challenge is for you, this is something that's really deep, it's really meaningful, okay? And you really want to go through the process that we're about to go through in childhood so that you can understand, you can understand what's going on with yourself. And then with that understanding, you can start to make some changes. Right? With that understanding, you'll be able to make some changes. So I'll, I'll work through an example just a, like a general example, and um, and then you're going to inshallah apply it to yourself with whatever challenge you have. Okay, is, is that is that clear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying I will give. I'm going to work through a process related to your challenge. Okay, okay? I'll use an example, which is a general example, okay? to kind of show you how the process works, and then you apply the process to yourself and to your challenge. Okay, is that clear? So, the example I'll use is, uh, okay, let's, so let's say, for example, my challenge is uh, I'm feeling hungry during the morning. You know, that's not really that, that's not deep. Everyone has, it's very superficial, what does that mean? You know, like, tell me something more. Well, the reason I'm getting hungry is because I haven't really prepared enough, which means I haven't really fasted enough beforehand. I haven't really thought about Ramadan enough. I haven't really taken it seriously enough. So that when the first day hits, you know, I'm feeling hungry. That's a bit deeper, okay? And then I could say, well, that's no, it's not really about the preparation. So what's it really about? On another level, 
It's really about my life priorities. Because if I prioritized correctly, and I took things seriously, I took my, uh, my ibadah, my iman, seriously, and made it a priority in my life, then there would be no problem with preparation and seriousness. And there would be no problem with the hunger. Okay? So this is the example I will use. Okay? Life, I'm having trouble with my prioritization in my life. Okay? What am I prioritizing? If I have a look at my life, how much time am I spending at work, for example? How much time am I spending with family? How much time am I spending reading Quran? How much time am I spending watching movies? How much time am I spending, you know, playing around? How much time am I spending just doing nothing, lazing about, surfing the internet, surfing, looking at Facebook? How much time am I spending on all these things? Okay? So I, this, is, this is where I'm having my challenge. This is the example that I'm going to use. The process is, I've introduced this a little bit to this, the brothers from before. I'm going to call it it's like phases or cycles. What does this mean? And what is the process that we go through? Anytime you have any challenge in life, it's going to follow a cycle. It's going to follow this, what's, what we call phases. So you'll start off in one state, you go to a second state, you go to a third state, a fourth state, and then a lot of how many steps in between. And then you'll eventually end up back at step number one. So what do we mean by this? Let's let's take Ramadan as an example, okay, as a general example. Let's say I start off on the first day of Ramadan. I'm not really prepared. I'm hungry. I'm like you know some people call it hangry. You know they're a bit mentally all over the place. You forget for uh, you start having headaches, all that sort of stuff at the beginning of Ramadan. And that might be that might this phase here, phase number one, that might last two, three, four days by the time you start adjusting. Okay, so that would be one step. The second step is, okay, now you're getting used to Ramadan, you're used to the fasting, you are now starting to go to Tarawih and you're, and you're going to pray at Tarawih. Okay, and then you start feeling like, sort of like a calmness or a, a plateau. Okay, like you're, you're in the moment, you're feeling Ramadan, everything's going kind of smooth. Right? So first step might be, you're building up, second step might be, you're going smooth. Let's say the third step, as an example, Annie, as an example, we get to the third step. It gets towards the end of Ramadan. And then you start feeling a bit more the urgency. Okay? You start feeling, if I don't do something major here, I'm gonna miss out. Okay? So here we've got going up, plateau, uh, and then here we're going like really up. We're thinking, oh man, I haven't I've only read like few pages of the Quran, I really want to do the khatma, I want to read the whole thing, okay, so you start reading a lot more. I haven't really, I haven't really done qiyam or anything, like ten, last 10 days, I'm going to really hit it hard, okay? You might peek at, you know, Laylatul Qadr or every odd day and say, I'm going to go really, 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 really hard now, okay? Because khalas, it's going to finish, I'm going to miss out. So you feel that urgency. Next step, the next step is, it's Eid. Okay? You know, it's finished. Okay, and and I, I'm, you know, didn't, I didn't say it so much here, but um, in other countries I've seen where basically Eid, everyone's almost, they let go. You know? <laughs> they let go. You see them Eid at the Salah of Eid in the morning, okay, and it's like, okay, what, what have you been doing for the last no, 30 days? Really. What's going on? How do you, what happened? Because we're only fasting from food and drink. Yeah, yeah like, well, last night you were just praying that we had and this morning, what they're down. Then the next step, again, this could be infinite, not, yeah, not infinite, but yeah, this could be many, many steps. It could be like 10 steps. Let's say it's step number five. After a few days, you kind of miss Ramadan now. You know, like you're, now you're eating normally, now you're going back to having lunch and coffee in the morning and your afternoon snack and you know, all that stuff. And you know, I wasn't doing this like a few, like last week, there was no lunchtime. You know, so you start missing it. Okay? And you start thinking, now oh, I want to get that back a little bit. Maybe you'll fast your six days of Shawwal, for example. So you might, you know, go up again. And then after Shawwal's finished, course, it's not really that easy to, start to fast anymore. And then you start, yeah, it becomes a ch every day becomes more of more difficult. Okay, so you go to step six, and then step six might last for the next ten months. 
all the way until you get to the beginning of Ramadan again. And then guess what happens? Like you get this little first day, and then you start getting hungry, and you're not sure what's going on, and you're a bit lost. Okay? And you get used to it, you plateau, and then you get to the end of Ramadan, you go back up. Okay, you get to Eid, it goes back down. After a little while, you go back up, and then you go back down, and then you get to Ramadan again. And what happens? You get hungry. <laughs> See how it's this is the cycle, okay? So this is the cycle that we're going to be working through, inshallah. For each person, for each person as an individual, for your particular challenge. This is my challenge or this you know, the example challenge that I'm using. So if I have to now identify where can I start to make some changes here? Okay, where can I start to make some changes? So we'll, we'll, when we dig deeper into each phase, when we dig deeper into each step of the cycle, okay, then we can start to identify where we can make some changes. Right? So this is what I'll go to next. Any questions so far? No. Yeah, uh, after uh, the shower, there were six days. No. It's, yeah. Uh, nothing. Fasting. No. Uh, there used to be you can do maybe one day you stop, then you can go to the to gradually. You are not just to stop completely, no fasting changing by right? Yeah, yeah. You can do that for the six days fasting. Yeah, you can. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Any any other questions? Any questions about this cycle here? So what, what we'll do in Chalanya is what I want you to do is identify this for yourself. Okay, when it comes to Ramadan. Identify your own steps. Okay, so I'm just giving you one example. For you, just identify each step. What happens from the beginning of Ramadan, then from the middle or whatever to the end, whatever, whatever it is you might say. You do, and each thing you have to kind of give it a time. So this might last like one day, might last two hours, might last thirty seconds. Doesn't matter. But just go through the, just go, keep going through. So okay, this is where I start. Maybe the first day of Ramadan will be a good start day. Okay, and then work through your cycle until you come back all the way back to the next year. Okay. Well, if you're watching this and you said go do something, you also need time. Before. The pause is part of it. But then I'm thinking about this, I'm not thinking about that. Press a button one, not for that one. Five, six steps, seven steps, twenty steps, whatever it is. Okay, it's, it's, but it's all in your own for your own self, and you and at all during this time you're thinking about what is your challenge.